hello everyone let's work on this problem quickly we have 49 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of x equals 20. the first step i will take you to take everything to the left hand side so we have 49 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of x minus 20 to be equal to 0 and now 49 here is the same thing as 7 times 2 and then we have x outside plus 7 to the power of x minus 20 equals 0 and then at this point understand that I can interchange what I have here the powers here because if you have from um, x to the power of m into bracket n according to the law of indices it is the same thing as x to the power of n into bracket m right so i'm going to do the same thing here and the reason for it is for me to have 7 to the power of x in two places so here i will have 7 to the power of x then to the power of 2 plus 7 to the power of x minus 20 equals 0. Now let's say let y be equal to 7 to the power of x. So that anyway I find 7 to the power of x, I'm going to write y. And then I have y for 7 to the power of x then this square will appear then plus here now we are going to have um we're going to have y then minus 20 which will give us some um, zero now this is a quadratic equation and we can solve this let's try factorization method now if we're going to use factorization method it means that we should look for two numbers we will multiply to have minus 20 then we'll add the two numbers to have one which is the coefficient of y the two numbers are going to be 5 and minus 4 so the numbers will be 5 and then minus 4 because 5 times minus 4 will give us minus 20 and then 5 plus minus 4 will give us plus 1. Okay, so now what do we do? Let's put this back into this. It means that we're going to have y plus 5 in one bracket. And in the other bracket, I'll have y minus 4, both equal to 0. And at this point, we use 0 product rule. And that says y plus 5 can either be 0 or y minus 4 is equal to 0. From here, y is equal to minus 5. And from this side, y is equal to 4. Now, let us go back to the problem that we were dealing with. Remember, we have that y is equal to 7 to the power of 2x. So 7 to the power of 2x is equal to minus 5, right? And this is going to lead us to complex number, right? So we'll leave that aside and work with the other side. On this side, we have um, y to be equal to 4 and y is 7 to the power of 2 okay 7 to the power of x rather and then this will be equal to 4 as we have in our problem here now the next thing i'm going to do is to take the log of both sides because if i do not take the logs then i can express um 14 i mean this 4 i can express it to have 7 as a base so i have to take the logs and then I have log 7 to the power of x to be equal to log 4. Now take 
x to the back and we're going to have from x log 7 to be equal to log um, 4. And at this point, I can divide both sides by log 7. Divide by log 7 and then divide here by log 7. This can cancel this and we can now say that x is equal to log 4 over log 7 and this will give us this is approximately this is approximately 0 0.71 so this is the approximated value of um, x thank you for watching